Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant and certified Canva creator. And in this Canva tutorial, we're gonna be going over how to create a presentation in Canva, export it over to PowerPoint. So this is perfect if you're looking to put together a pitch deck as a freelancer or for a digital agency, or if you're just looking to use Canva to create some more engaging presentations for your webinars or your digital courses, this is the tutorial for you. Make sure you check out the links in the description to a bunch of other Canva tutorials for creating things like your PDF guides all the way to YouTube thumbnails. So let's go ahead, jump right in. The first thing we're going to want to do, of course, is create a new design. And once we click create a new design, we're going to go ahead and click presentation. Now you actually have two options. You have 1024 by 768, or you have the actual 16 by nine aspect ratio. I like the 16 by nine because it shows up well on most devices. And if you're going to be exporting things over to PowerPoint, this is the format that you want. So one of the things that makes Canva really easy to create presentations when compared to something like PowerPoint or Prezi is the templates. Well, Prezi is actually a whole nother beast. So we'll just compare it to PowerPoint here. So with Canva, the fastest way to put together your presentation is to go through all of the free templates they have and just start picking ones you like. So typically when I'm putting together a presentation for the first time, the very first thing I do is I just start scrolling through and I choose slides that I like. I'll choose title slides, image slides, bullet point slides, any slide that I think looks cool or represents something that I would want to add to my presentation, I will click and add. And this is a great way to just get your ideas flowing. You really don't have to worry about the structure of your PowerPoint right now. I'm going to assume that you already know what content you want to include. So I will literally just go through this and I will click on every single one that I think would work for this presentation. So we'll jump cut ahead and just like that, I've gone through and I've just added all of the different templates that I would like to include in my pitch deck for this particular presentation. And so looking through here, the next thing that I would do is start to take a look at which ones do I really like the best and which ones are going to be either too much work or just don't actually fit with the presentation. So for this particular example, I'm just doing a basic couple of slides about our company and what we do. So I'm looking at maybe five or six slides max. So scrolling through here, you can kind of see that there's a big difference in design elements of these. And you want to keep in mind how much time and effort do you want to put in? Like this one, it looks really cool, but that's going to take me way too long to modify, right? So I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to start eliminating the ones that I don't like. Personally, I think having a white background is best when it comes to presentations because you wanna make sure that it's really, really easy to read what little text you have on the presentation. So taking a look here, I actually really like this layout for my cover image. So I'm gonna come up here and make this my first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a title and put our company name here. And then it's time for our logo. So I'm gonna to go to my uploads and take a look at my logos and who doesn't really work. So here's something that's really cool with Canva. So we'll go ahead, we'll take this image. It just so happens that my logo has to, is also rings. So I'm going to copy this one and I'm gonna recreate the logo just with a little bit of a different element. So I'll click that, stack the rings on top of each other and then change it to my brand colors. And just like that, I have the cover for my presentation. Now what I could do is go over to something like Unsplash or Pexels or Pixabay and find my own image, but I already have some images here. So I'm gonna go to my uploads and see if I can find one that makes sense for what we're doing here. Get customers. So I'm gonna try this image here of the light so I can just click and drag and it's automatically gonna put it on in the background act marketing. We get you customers. Eh, I probably wanna play with that a little bit more. Actually the city one might be the best one. Yeah, the city one's the best one. So sometimes sometimes that happens. I'm just gonna leave that alone. They, they had a great image for me. So now it's time to come up with what the different types of slides you want in your presentation. So you definitely don't wanna have every single slide the exact same, but you do want to break it up into sections so that you're not making a custom slide for every single slide in the presentation. So here, I think we'll have a couple slides about what we do and then maybe some slides on case studies and what we've done for previous clients. So first I'm going to look for a basic slide on what we do. So this would be good, what we do. So we'll come up with three different services. So let's say we're doing, we'll do Google advertising, Facebook advertising, conversion rate optimization. So obviously we should change up these little icons here because that doesn't really represent what um, 
those platforms are. So let's go ahead. Now here I'm using the premium version of Canva, so I have different folders. So I'm gonna come in here to my company's logos folder and I'm just gonna swap it out for Facebook, Google Ads, and something that represents conversion optimization. Actually, for conversion optimization, we'll go ahead and take this factory and we'll just drop it over here and rearrange things so it goes to the back. There we go. And so we could drop in, like let's say I have Google Ads here, and then I don't have a Facebook advertising icon, but I can search for Facebook. And it should give me something that I can use. I could probably use this one. Now I'm, I'm being really rough here. Like we definitely probably wanna go, go through and make sure that these images and icons were a little more congruent. So for this Google advertising photo, I'm gonna go ahead and click crop and I'm gonna crop out the Google ads at the bottom so I just get the logo, and then I'll resize it and bring it down a little bit so that it's about the same size as these other two. Now we should change up the colors because pink and Facebook don't really work well together, so I'll just use the blue. Again, we'd probably wanna make a little bit more of an effort when choosing these colors. Whoa, like that, that is terrible. And we'll leave it like that and just change it to services. Again, definitely want to up the ante in terms of the color choices here. I'm just going super fast. So for the next couple slides, we'll just do one slide for each and we'll look for a template here. I want one that's relatively simple to modify. So I'm actually going to combine two that I've done in the past. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit here, but I like to do this, use this format a lot for a lot of my presentations. So you can just go ahead and copy it for yourself. And I've quickly modified our sushi template here, just added a line at the bottom, kind of like what this one looked like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these two since I've got enough of my inspiration. And I'm also going to delete that one because we don't need that. So now what we wanna do is highlight in just a couple of words, about Google advertising, Facebook advertising, and conversion optimization. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to copy all of these elements. So I'm gonna copy, paste, and bring them down here and bring it over to the side. And that way there's some congruency. I'm gonna click and hold shift so that it sizes up correctly and bring it over to the center. Bada bing, bada boom, done. And now it looks off center now that it's all big. So there we go, all right. Gotta fix that, need things centered properly. Okay, there we go. And then we just add some text about what's so cool about or great about Google Ads. Something to that effect. Obviously this isn't about the copywriting, but you definitely wanna put more in there and be more explicit about the benefit of Google advertising. So I'm gonna jump ahead again and make two more of these. I'm just gonna click the duplicate. And what I'm gonna do is just copy down these same elements so there's some congruency between the three services. And just like magic, here we go. We have our Google advertising slide, we have our Facebook advertising slide, and we have our conversion optimization rate slide. And of course, we talk about each service individually on these slides. So the next thing we'd wanna do for our pitch deck is probably have a case study or two. So I have a couple of slides left that I haven't completely deleted. This one looks good enough for a case study. It's different, but it's a close enough design where it's gonna not feel like it's the same design throughout, but it does offer some congruency. So I'll pull it up here and we're gonna go ahead and call it case study number one. Let's make this font big enough for people to actually read. And then we'd probably do a couple slides of case studies. So here is where we'd most likely want to change out, whoops. <laughs> we'd most likely want to change out the image here to represent the company, either have a logo of the company or just have some sort of image that represents the type of client. So I'm just gonna go through here and try and find an image again of the type of client, just drop that in there. And of course we can change the filter. I think it's a little dark, so maybe bring it up a bit, Cali, drama. And then I'm going to readjust this to bring case study to the top so it's more like a headline. And then that will also give us a little more space to talk about what we did. And now that we have our case study template, we'll go ahead and just duplicate it out and we'll change the ones to twos and find either a new image to represent this second case study or we'd add the company logo. So I'm actually gonna do both for this one just so you can kind of see how it works. So again, I got these pictures from Unsplash. It's a free website that just has a bunch of cool stock photos that you can use. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. And then let's just pretend I have the logo of the uh, company that we did this for. 
how about Canva? We're talking about Canva, so let's say this is Canva, and we'll go ahead and make it a little bit like that, and we'll just bring the logo down here. Yes, I know you can't add transparent images there. So I think the only other slide we're gonna need is a contact us or let's do business. So since this is, let's just say this is for a freelancer, I'm gonna go ahead and use, whoops, deleted too much there. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this down to one so that there's only one spot to fill in terms of the person. So we'll go ahead and delete this last one, double tap to delete the element. And of course, let's swap out the image. So I'm gonna go find an image of myself that's been uploaded. Just click and drag that in here in the center. Okay, there we go. We'll change out the name and then add my site at the bottom. What's actually really cool is you can hyperlink this. So if you click the text and you come up here to the top right, you can go ahead and link and link directly to your URL. That way when you export this as a PDF and someone's reading through it, they can click through and then we'll have a place for our phone number, probably make that a little bigger, but this doesn't really match our color scheme. So let's go ahead and change it to our blue that we've been using. And that's a little better. I'd probably play with that a little bit more, but in terms of time's sake, let's go ahead and just delete the rest of these that we didn't wind up using. And now let's take a look at our presentation. We are all done. So we've got our title page, our three services here, and then the final page just about or contact. So the other thing you could do is add an about you or an about us here, or if you have other people on your team that would be working with the client, then you could go ahead and add them to this as well. So let's go ahead and change this about us. There you go. And now all that's left to do is go ahead and download it. So you can download each individual page as a JPEG or PNG, or you just export it as a PDF ready to go. Now, if you're using Canva just to design your template and then you want to export that template into PowerPoint and continue to use PowerPoint, here's what I would recommend doing. We're gonna go ahead and copy this just as an example. And you just want the design element. So what we would do, I'd actually remove Canva and I'd remove this. And then I would actually remove this case study as well. I'd remove that and I would remove this final piece, there you go. So this is what you'd want to export into PowerPoint. And then in PowerPoint, you'd add all of the text and extra logos or images on top. And then that way you have this nice blank background because when you import this into PowerPoint as a PNG, it's going to be a static background image. You're not gonna be able to change anything. So it's best to just use Canva for your pictures and then use PowerPoint on top of that for all of the words that you want to add. So that does it. Let me know if you have any questions below about Canva or how to put together your presentation in Canva. I read and reply to every single one. If you got some value out of this tutorial video for Canva, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on the channel, in addition to doing in-depth Canva tutorials like this one, I go through everything you need to be successful with your digital marketing. And of course, creating a great looking pitch deck and great looking PowerPoint presentations is just one small piece of that bigger picture of being successful with your digital business. So go ahead and comment below with your Canva questions. Hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, keep building the business you love.